Hey guys, Luke the Plumbob here and welcome to my review of The Sims 4 Parenthood Game Pack which of course is the fifth game pack for The Sims 4. So as you can see the logo is here and um, The Sims 4 Parenthood it says owned, develop your Sims parenting skill to help you shape your children's lives into adulthood. So first up thank you so much to EA UK who went ahead and sent me an early copy of the game pack so I could go ahead and review it for you guys in advance. So today I'm going to go ahead and check out everything which is Game Pack has to offer from cast, build and buy mode and live mode. What I'll do in the description is I'll leave time codes to where I specifically talk about each thing so you guys if you want can skip to find that in the description. So first up as you can see the start menu has changed to parenthood themed as you can see we've got this screenshot here. So I'm going to go ahead and basically start a new game and have a look what we have in cast. So first up, of course, we're going to have to check out the toddlers. So it's these really cute dungarees. So if I click on them, here we go. And they're available, I think. Yep, they're available for both genders. So there's multiple colours you can get there. So um, they only have two new full bodies. So they have the dungarees, which I showed you. And then they have this little hoodie jumper set. And I don't think there's... No, they're available for both genders, though. We're going to see this little hoodie set. I'm just going to double check there's nothing for tops and I'm just being silly. No, it's just the full body. So as you can see, we've got some brand new tights as well. Now these come in loads of different patterns and colours and like one colour, one colour, one colour, the other. <laughs> and then we've got all striped polka dots. Uh, what else we got? Individual colours and just one on their own. So for kids, they have two brand new hairstyles. First up, they have this little braided um, one with flowers in, which is kind of like dreadlocks. And then they have this dreadlock hairstyle as well, which is all braided. Styled looks, they have four brand new ones. So first up, they have the snazzy and sporty outfit here, which is like ideal for doing sport and things outside. Then we have the mad jelly, which is this little outfit here, which is really, really cool. Really like that one. Then we have the all patched up. Uh, which is this one here, which is a kind of like a jacket mixed in with a hoodie, which is really cool. And then they have the comfortably torn. And now I really like this outfit, especially for boys. It's actually really, really cool. As you can see, it's got like rips in, but then it's got a t-shirt behind it. So it stays another colour. It's pretty, pretty cool. So the kids have four brand new t-shirts. Uh, no, six even. Six brand new t-shirts. And please be aware, these are for both genders as well. So we have this top here with little handprints on it and they change colour, all different patterns. Oh, and we have uh, paint splatters as well. Next up, we have this brand new patterned hoodie. Oh, and we have like different patterns all together as well. It's not just that pattern. So that's really nice. Oh, I like that one. Then we have this, which is the jacket with a hoodie combined in it, which I really love. Here we go. Oh, I like that one as well. That one with the little t-shirt, the character underneath. That's really cool. Then we also have the RIP t-shirt, which I love. We have the football t-shirt. Well, it's a football t-shirt, that one, but you can also get it in stripes. You can get it these stripes. Uh, you can get it this little wolf. Or is it a fox? I think it might be a wolf, or it might even be a raccoon. But anyway, <laughs> and then we have lastly this one as well. So I've literally just noticed something when I've gone to full body, have their own. Oh, they had their own panda costume, which is so cute. Oh my gosh, look. You can get it orange, you can get it grapes, you can get banana, well, pineapples and strawberries. It's like the Teletubbies, literally. That's so cool. <laughs> then they have this full body dress as well. They have these pyjamas, which I really like. They have these dungaree sets similar to like what the toddlers had, loads of different colours again. And then we have these alternate pyjamas as well. And these have patterns on them as well, with like little bunnies and moons. I still can't get over this. This is so cool. <laughs> so for bottoms, they have a few new ones. They have these uh, shorts with like a top mixed in with them tied up, which is really cool. Then they have these shorts. They have this little short dress and then these jeans, which are like patchwork jeans. Then lastly, they have one new set of uh, shoes, which are kind of like these little jelly shoes which you can get. And um, they come in loads of different colours and they're really, really cool actually. Quite realistic to what they actually look like. So for kids and for toddlers, I'm really, really happy what was added in for children. It's so, so cool. I, I especially cannot get over the the panda koala costume. It, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. 
I absolutely love this. This is so cute. So <laughs> when I get into playing the game, I think I'm going to immediately add this to my game. Um, so I am a bit upset there wasn't much for toddlers. Um, there was only, what, two things, really? A uh, bit upsetting, but, you know, we can't complain. It is a game pack, but I absolutely love the stuff what children have got. It's so, so cool. So next up, I'm going to be showing you uh, teenagers, young adults, adults and elders, what they have to offer. And first, I'm going to be starting with the men. So, by the looks of things, they have one brand new hairstyle, which is this one, which is like a little quiff, which is really cute. They have two new facial hairs. So they have this one here, which is kind of like a really, really light one. And then they have this one, which is just like the moustache really lightly done. So for styled looks, they have two brand new ones. So they have the Too Cool for Sleeves, uh, which is this one oh. here. Oh, and then they have the Later Skater, which is this one here. Now I'm just going to double check, because I'm pretty sure if you go as a teen, I thought you could get that. Yes, there are brand new skin details. Now, these have got like spots on them, which are obviously like typical for teenagers. So you can get spots like that with them now. And I'm not sure, I know there's none of that one. But yeah, I just maybe think so you can get things like acne and stuff like that to put on your Sims. So for tops, we have this awesome pattern hoodie. I absolutely love this, this is so, so cool. And then there's solid colored ones as well. So you can get this top as well. And it's similar to what the kids had, as in they have this little mascot on them, which I absolutely love. Then they have this little denim jacket here, which is really nice, comes in loads of patterns. Then they have this top, and then they have this hoodie and vest top here. Full body, of course, of course, we have this. With the fruit on again. So for bottoms, uh, we have, what do we have? Five new ones, so we have these shorts. We have these jeans, which match that hoodie. You can see here. Then we have some pyjama bottoms and they also come in the patterns as well. We have these jeans similar to what the kids had with the um, tops wrapped around them. And then we have these tracksuit bottoms. So for accessories we have one brand new pair of socks which are all patterned. You can see here. And then we don't have any new shoes. Right. So now for what the women have. So first up they have four brand new hairstyles. They have this long one which is braided down the side. They have this little short one which is kind of similar to what we have. Um, before but obviously just uh, like a different style of hair and also they got all different colours which you can go in it which is really really nice and this one kind of matches it as well but even more different colour combinations and then we have this one here the short like fluffy one styled looks women have three so they have the loosely layered which is this one here keeping with the theme of having stuff tied around you then you have the it's vintage which I like and then we have the track princess it helps if I don't click off it Let's go back. Here we go, which is like a sporty one as well. So for tops, women have six new ones. So they have this top here, which is similar. I think it is one of them when they're using the styled looks. And it comes with patterns and solid colours and all these kind of like spacey ones. <laughs> then they have this hoodie here. They have this top here. They have this one, which is really similar to what the men had. We also have this vest top. And then this crop top as well, which is really cool actually. It's really funky. Then of course, they have this suit. Why wouldn't they have it? And then, and then they have five new bottoms. So they have these ones, just like everyone else. They have these shorts. They have these jeans with patterns down them. They have these pyjama bottoms. And then they have these tracksuit bottoms. Accessories, they also have the socks. And there are no new shoes. So overall, stuff for adults, um, young adults adults, elders, and teens, I absolutely love. The stuff in it is really, really cool. And I would say there's just about enough, you know, like a suitable amount for game packs. Similarly, I absolutely love, they have um, the panda costume also with it, well, panda bear costume <laughs> with all the fruit. I also love some of the really cool funky tops like this one. And then for the, obviously, the men, some of the things they've added, I really like, like this hoodie yeah. here. And um, if I go onto, oh, no, maybe it's back on tops. Yep, that one there. <laughs> I really like some of this stuff. It's really cool and I'll definitely be using it loads in my game. And it's not all like explicitly parenting related. Like I was expecting, do you know what like, I mean? Like parenty, typical clothing, but it's not, you know, you can use it for anything really. So also as a little extra, we also have this brand new aspiration, which is super parent. So that Sim wants to be the best parent ever. Now with this, there are some also some brand new traits, but these traits basically have been kind of added as an incentive for being a good parent 
So you need to kind of unlock those as you go along. So along with the pack, we also have a brand new gallery build we can place down, which is the Commodus Residence, which is kind of like a typical parenty home. Now this you can place down and use, uh, which I'll definitely be using for my live mode. Uh, so you can just get that in the gallery. It's straight in your library when you boot up the game. So next up, I'm going to be checking out everything in build and buy mode. So first, I'm going to be starting with the start of rooms and we have four brand new ones. So the first one we have is the Family Convergence, which is 12,018 simoleons. So this is actually a really nice kitchen area. So if I go into it here, as you can see, it's really, really kind of like traditional style kitchen, which is really, really nice. And it makes use of some of the new rewards boards and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. And I love the fact the oven's like incorporated with the island. I've actually never thought of that. And I actually love this oven. Anyway, <laughs> And I think, yeah, that's new as well. Oh, this is so cool. I can't wait to check out all the items individually. Anyway, next up we have the, for, I'm not even going to be able to pronounce that, Jovival Juvelmist? I don't know. At 5,822 simoleons. Uh, so this is a kid's bedroom, which is really nice. Again, making use of some of the brand new items. And also they have this here. Is this a, oh, it's a laundry basket. I thought that was to put babies in. No, that's bad. <laughs> anyway, here it is, and I love these little boards as well. Next up is the Family Den, 10,855 simoleons. Now, this one, if I place it down, is like a living room slash playroom area, which is really, really nice. Again, it follows like the traditional theme of like a family home, which I really love. Then we have the Growing Up Space at 6,450 simoleons, and this is like a boy's bedroom. Uh, similar to what the girls had, as you can see here, but it seems a bit younger, uh, especially with like the posters. Here we go. So next we have one brand new small size door, which is called the personalised door. So if I'm right in saying yes, you can change it. So you've got like a girly one there, you've got like a boyish one there, and then you've gone kind of got a neutral one. So there you go, and as you can see the back changes as well. Then, what do we have? We have two brand new windows. So we have the extended vertical window, which is like this. And then we have this one, which I think is, yeah, the extended horizontal window. And this is really nice. Again, fitting with the family theme. And I absolutely love these windows. And I like how it, take, it nearly takes up the entire room. So for wall patterns, we have four new ones. So first up, we have the Misty Forest Paper. Now this is pretty cool. It only comes in one different type, but I love that. That's so cool. Uh, it's not on the other side, but it's on this side. <laughs> then next up, we have these like tiled ones. What's it called? The tiled pattern with wing sculpt panelling, uh, which is really nice. Again, fitting kind of with like the kitcheny family theme. And then there's also there's a stone motif one as well, which is similar to it, but just different stoning. Next up, we have the simple paint uh, with panelling, which is just a painted version. And then we have the multi themed kids' room wallpaper. Which, of course, as the name suggests, is a kid's wallpaper. So as you can see, there's like fishes, there's basketball, there's just plain ones there, there's hearts. So yeah, all different ones. So now, for all of the individual items, which I cannot wait to delve into, there's actually quite a bit. So, first, we have two brand new beds. So we have the Bro Hill single bed with storage. So it's kind of got like storage drawers underneath it. Now this one, all stripey, and then you can get it solid colours as well. And then there's another one similar to it, which is the metal frame single bed. So this just doesn't have the storage. And um, as you can see, patterns again. Oh, there's a spacey one. You see there? Of course, we have some brand new chairs. So here are the brand new array of chairs we have. And I like this one. It's like a little taller one. It's like for little kids. I really like this. And... Um, of course, there are lots of colours for them, as there would be. So as you can see, you can change the cushions on these ones. And if I go onto these ones, you can do something similar. Next up, we have two brand new sofas or couches, however you want to say. So for the first one is this three-seater one. Again, awesome colours. And then we have one which is a two-seater one, but it has storage underneath it. So obviously suitable for a family. Next up, we have some brand new counters. So, if I'm right in saying, is these like, yep, they work exactly the same like kitchen counters. So we have this one here, and then we have island, like an island version of it. And um, they have little like lockups underneath it. 
as you can see, and it's just plain on that side. And it's kind of like a marbled surface. Now let's see what type of colours we can get. Ah, so we can change the entire top and the middle as well. So next up, we have some new cabinets. So what do we have? We have this one here, and it matches with the theme as well. All colours, yep, yeah, matches completely. And let's see what the ones in the middle have. So they have these ones as well, which is slightly smaller, what you can put on ends. And then also they have like ones with cutlery and stuff like that inside. Another one similar to it. Uh, these are window ones. You get ones like that. And then you can get ones like this with loads of stuff in it, like food. So we have some brand new tables. We have the antique table, which is as the name suggests, is an antique table. But then there is the square square table, which is kind of like a little coffee table, which is actually really nice. And then there's little magazines and books inside. Yep. And then we have the desks. So now these desks, I'm just putting with the tables, but as you can see, they're like higher up ones, so kids can like stand on them. Like, I'm pretty sure, I know they're not that high up. Do you know, it just looks high compared to this. What am I on about? <laughs> they work the same as normal desks, as you can see. So we have like a little antique one, and then we have like a modern one. Next up we have some, oh, we have some more counters. So these are like, they can kind of work as end tables, which have got stuff in and drawers and stuff like that. And then we have another square little room coffee table kind of thing going on. And then this has storage as well and loads of little storage, little magazines underneath. So we have two brand new sinks. So we have the retro big basin sink. Uh, this is kind of like a really like old, well, I say old, like, you know what I mean? Like basic classical sink. And um, again, awesome colours. And then we have a more modern -y, vibey one, contemporary one, which is this one here. And I really love the uh, little spout on this one. It's really cool. <laughs> Next up, we have a brand new shower, which is the Extreme Shower Tub with Customizable Curtain. So as the name suggests, we probably will be able to change the colour of this. Yes. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, you can get awesome birds, patterns on it. Oh, I love that little, that one, and then the bird one. That is so cool. I don't think I've ever liked a shower that much. Do you know what? Let's take some screenshots of these, because this is so cool. Let's go, that one. Hey, that's so cool. Next up, we have the private journal. Now, of course, this is better to show you in live mode, but kids can write in it. But that's just it for the time being. And you can change the colour of it to make it more boyish or girlish, or depending on what you want, like neutral. Next up, we have the family bulletin board. Now, this is kind of like a reward chart and you can set your curfews and stuff like that on it. Again, more applicable to live mode. Next up, we have the nothing but net wall decal, which is this little um, decal painting to put on the wall. So you can get it with basketball and basketball hoop. And you can change more uh, paintings, posters, decal stuff. So we've got these really cool little guitars here. We've got the little spacey things that you can change colours of got this one here which is just like posters and then you've got the trees which fit with the wallpaper i'm low-key tempted to make a tree room because this is so cool <laughs> next up we have a mirror we have a vanity mirror and this one has little pictures in the side of it and you can actually make the picture disappear as well and then we have the bro hill entry mirror which is just this little smaller version and then we have like a teen oval one Kind of similar to the big one, as in it's got things in the corners, but as you can see that one's got flowers. Next up we have some brand new curtains, so we have that one, and then we have that one you can put at the top of windows. Um, let's have a look, so they're slightly transparent, as you can see, and then you can get all different colours for these, and I think this is similar, yeah. So next up we have a few little bits and pieces in clutter, so actually let's grab a table to stick this all on, so we can see it better. So we've got the most special vase ever. So this is kind of like Mother's, Mother's Day sort of thing. So let's just bring it onto the table so you guys can see. So this is actually really cute and adorable. There we go. And then we have the arts and crafts box, which is this one here. Then we have the magazines and remote holders. Now this is so cool. Basically, I don't know if your parents still or any of your grandparents, but they have little like little boxes of like all the magazines and stuff like that next to the TV or next to their like seat. We have it. We have it in the game. Now this is so cool because it's so realistic. <laughs> next up we have the kids' toy tub. Whoa, that's massive. There you go. Got a cute little line in it, which is absolutely adorable. 
Next up, we have the bathroom clutter. Then we have the makeup tray. And then lastly, we have the kids clutter. So this is just like one object to like wreck their rooms with. There you go. And I like how this little backpack, as you can see here, it kind of looks like a monster. Like it's throwing up stuff. Anyway, that might just be me. Next up, we have some new rugs. We have Choose a Print Throw Mug. Now this, I'm assuming, yes, all different colours and all different patterns with this. Next up, we have the large printed version. So it's like a larger one. Again, I'm assuming, yeah, all the patterns. Really, really cool. Next up, we have the brick fireplace, which is this fireplace here. Again, following the contemporary family vibe. Really like this. Now for some more wall stuff. So we have hanging lights. So we have these lights here. And um, we have some little posters. And we have the little, um, not surfboards, what are they called? Does it say they're snowboards? Yeah, that kind of vibe. And then you have some more lights, which are the longer versions. So with these, you've got all different patterns. Is that, it's a gnome and a radioactive sign. And a little cute pineapple. And then you've got similar ones here. And then the lights, I'm assuming, yep, you can change the colours and they can also be multicoloured, so like suitable for Christmas. Next up we have a laundry basket and also we have some little bits and bobs. So we have these medicine cabinets and let's have a look. laundry basket. Yeah, you can change the colours of them. Now for some more bits and bobs for the kitchen. So let me just grab another table and let's go back and I can show you the rest. I just find it better to show you guys on a table just so you can easily see it. Um, so we have a little bread bin, or bread box, whatever you want to call it, to stick bread in, of course. Oh, you can get patterned ones as well. Ah, that one looks pretty cool, actually, because that looks like your kids have just drawn on it. Then you have the rack of wood of the dishes. It's all dishes, knives, cleaning stuff. Then we have the brand new fruit bowl, which is called Bountiful Platter. Then we have a direct... A di I can't talk today. A decorative plate, which is one I'm assuming, yeah, you can make it look like so kids have drawn on it or you can get like professional ones. Then you've got the night owl toy light. It's a little light up for kids' bedrooms. And I think we're going into like kids related things now. So we have the Boo Boo Billy Doctor play set. Oh, it's actually for the floor. So again, it's better to show you this in live mode. And then we have the Tum Tum Teddy Doctor play set. Then we have the Buildings Block Play Table. Again, better to show you in live mode, but as you can see, it kind of looks like Lego. Now we have some experiments. Now these are the experiments which are what your Sims can do for school. So we've got a few of these, so they're all for different ages as well. So you can get electricity uh, experiments, you can get robotics, you can get chemical reaction volcano, you can get construct a bridge, you can get solar system, you can get Medieval Castle. Now again, these are back to show you in live mode because you get to see them actually make it. So I'll definitely show you guys that. Then we have a Bro Hill Kids Activity Wonderland, which is kind of like the activity table we have, but all based around arts and crafts and it's explicitly for like colouring. Next up, we have some new lights. So we have the Colourful Desk Lamp, which is a reading lamp. And then we have these lights here. So these actually look like little mason jars or milk jars, whatever you want to call them. They're really cool. So we've got the ceiling hugger light here, which is just one on its own. And then you have like a longer version of it. Then you have one with multiple and then some with some multiple ones, which are a bit lower down and uh, all different colors. Then you have the regular O night light, which is little small little night light. And then you can get a starry night light as well, which is similar to it. Then you can get the modern face value fridge, which is actually looks like a pretty high tech fridge. <laughs> and then you can get the throwback stove links with it and I like how they've made it branded it's really cool and then what else do we have we have a new dishwasher oh is it gonna uh, it's gonna ask me to place it down on specific things but as you can see there we've got a new dishwasher then we have some new bookshelves we have that one and then we have dresses and drawers which kind of match with it and then last but not least we have the bottomless dresser so overall, build and buy mode. I love the stuff in it. It is so cool. I love all the details they've gone into and how they've made it so, I'm going to say realistic, like The Sims 4 isn't realistic. It is. But I'm saying like they've got so many items which are just so relatable as in the fact like 
their little TV magazine and remote little cupboard thing where you put next to the TV or sofa. Stuff like that. It's just the little things, which is so cool. I absolutely love the array of patterns and colours. It's so, so cool. So much detail has gone into it as well. And I just love the art in it. Especially just like the shower. Like, you wouldn't think a shower would be so awesome. I also absolutely adore this little forest vibe they have going on with like the de decal and with like the decorations. I love it. And I think I will definitely be making a build dedicated to this forest stuff because it's so, so cool. So if you guys want to go and check that, of course, I'll probably have a link in the video somewhere or at the end of the video. So before I get into live mode, I've gone ahead and placed down the lot waters in the gallery, which I showed you guys. So it is a really, really nice little family home. So if I go down, so as you can see, it's two floors, lots of bedroom, lots of space, and it shows off loads of the brand new parenthood items. And then we got this downstairs as well. Now, funnily enough, when I actually placed this down, I realised how similar this was to a build I did. So um, after I filmed the build mode section of this video, I went ahead and did my build video because I had loads of inspiration because of all this forestry themed stuff. And um, I couldn't quite believe it. This room is pretty similar to what I made. Quite a coincidence. Quite a coincidence because I'd never seen this till after I did the build and placed this down. But anyway, if you do want to go and check out that build video, links will be down in the description at the end of the video and the little eye in the sky. So if I'm right in saying, I think there are some new lot traits. I've got a very funny feeling this teen neighbourhood one is brand new. And where's the other one? I think it might be that one that I'm not sure. But I definitely think this teen neighbourhood lot trait is brand new. Let me know down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure it is brand new. So I've got our family here. You may recognise them from um, my bowling night stuff. I've just basically showed off some of the brand new hairstyles and clothing. And of course they've got a little kid who's of course wearing the brand new bear costume. Like why wouldn't they be wearing that? So in this so part I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything what Live Mode has to offer. Um, so first up the massive ma major chain really is on kids. So kids now have character values. Now as you can see... Adults don't have that, they just have their normal traits, uh, but kids now have character values. So they now are kind of like assessed on manners, emotional control, responsibility, empathy and conflict resolution. Now as they go up and up and up and they get traits from that, so as you can see here for manners, so manners values can increase by friendly introductions, setting tables, cleaning dishes or giving compliments and parents can also teach kids to say please and thank you. So in that, um, if you go up, you'll get the good manners trait. Um, otherwise, if you do the opposite, you get the bad manners and so on. So as you can see, emotional control, you can get that trait. You can get the compassionate trait. You can get the med... I can't, I'm going to pronounce that wrong. But you can get argumentative and mediator trait. And you can get the responsible and irresponsible trait. So, for instance, if I go and get a sim now and uh, talks to a child, they now have the parenting options. So if they click that, you can... Teach them to say please and thank you, teach them to say sorry, influence and get them to do things like wash the dishes or anything like that. So that's if there's stuff available to do that. Um, if you can put them to bed or talk about their bear costume. So for instance, if I teach them to say please and thank you, there we go. The little manners thing went up and you can see the character values has gone up as well. And there's an arrow thing going up. So um, Parents can also get parenting levels now. As you can see here, he's just gone up to level one. So obviously you can become an even better parent. So to go along um, with this, we have, of course, the brand new bulletin board. So you can set a curfew for any time you want for your kids. So let's just set it for 7 p.m. So if we get our sim to come over and it kind of works like a reward chart as well. Here we go. So she can set the time there. So she can write a note for a sim. Um, Put it on the board as well so let's have a look her parenting levels just gone up for doing all this so she can remove the curfew she can clear the bulletin board create a drawing let's have a look what this does there we go uh read note look at drawing create drawing clear set curfew yeah so that's just for like especially for teens it's kind of a quite a new thing obviously um because teens are probably the ones who are going to go out and break the curfew <laughs> So a few little interactions, obviously there's loads and loads of brand new interactions, there's going to be so many to show you guys. So they also have set tables, so they can set tables however they want. So let's do a casual in red. And our child sim, here we go, should be coming over. And they can set the table, and they go their manners have actually gone up as well, as you can see here. 
So obviously kids have so many new interactions they can do around the home now, they can do a lot more things, so obviously you can go ahead and explore, there's going to be so so many. But um, as you saw we can now set tables, we can clean dishes, you can do kind of things what adults would have only been able to do, but obviously kids can do it to learn and uh, go up in their character values. So let's just do one more character value and see how our sim reacts. So let's do parenting and what we can actually do, if we get our kid to do something bad, here we go, so we can make a mess. There we go, so responsibility is actually going down. And we can go ahead and get our uh, sim here to come and tell him off. Uh, let's... Well, she just went and hugged, hugged him. I did not mean for that to happen. Uh, <laughs> so let's discipline behaviour, let's be strict and let's yell out for making a mess. So let's just see how the character values change. Uh, oh, her responsibility went up. So let's teach him influence, influence to clean up mess. There we go. They're, they're being responsible. They are cleaning up after themselves. <laughs> and the parenting levels keep going up. Um, where's our kid going? He's going to play with emotions. No, we don't want to do that. So... <laughs> So of course Live Mode have so much more to offer, so make sure to go and check it out for yourselves, there's so many new interactions. But now I'm going to go ahead and get into some of the brand new items. So first up of course we have the brand new journal. So we can go and grab our sim um, to come upstairs. Here we go. And they can now write in a journal. Oh, it's going back downstairs, I was expecting them to stay upstairs. <laughs> there we go. So there we go, they can now write in their journal. So by doing that, their emotional control actually went up quite a bit. Um, so once we have written, we can actually relive memories or carry on writing in the journal. And actually we can hide the journal. So let's just see what happens when we do this. Let's see where they hide it. Oh, just takes it and puts it in their inventory. So of course, included in the packs, we have the brand new school project. So these are for various ages, you can get them for teens, you can get them for um, toddlers, and you can get them for children. Now, if we go on to this, we can start working sloppily, we can start working carefully. So these are all the school projects. Now, this is one thing also to add. Teens have another set of brand new emotions and a brand new set of interactions they can do. So for instance, you can um, settle sibling rivalry, and of course if you have multiple child sims, there's loads more options that way as well. So there we go, our um, our child here is starting the school project. So our mum has, oh, she just ran to the toilet, but she, um, she can actually assist with the project. So as you can see here, we can go and grab her. There we go, and she can actually help out with it. Oh, my notifications are full. So it acquired the rocket science skill, that's what the mum's just got, and then the mental skill as well, what the child's just got. So you can see, it's. An, I think it's nearly built. Ah! There we go, so they're applauding. So, it says, Courtney finished her school project quickly, extra credit has been awarded. So here we go, it's like a little solar system, as you can see here. So we can view the project and put it in our inventory. So also a few little minor things which have been added with the pack. They have a brand new activity table where they can draw what they want, similar to the other one. So we can come and grab our sim to come upstairs. Here we go. And they can do some drawing on the new activity table. There's also the brand new blocks um, table, which is sort of, I think, like Lego. Um, so if I come and grab our sim to come over, yeah, they can come and build things, as you can see here. So I've literally just um, added in a brand new teen sim and actually converted our kid into a teen. So first off on the bat, we can actually go ahead and break our curfew. So because it's after 7pm, our sim can actually come outside. Um, there we go, she should come outside and responsibility is like going down anyway. Um, so we can actually, let's go on to our character, character values. Um, so as you can see, our bulletin board is lit up red. So we can actually go ahead and grab our sim to come over and tell them off. So we can discipline, recent behaviour, let's be strict and let's yell it for breaking curfew. So 
our little, um, well, I shouldn't say little anymore. Oh. So while you are on a sim, what you can actually do is if you click on them, you can um, shout forbidden words. Now this, I want to see what happens. So let's see. There we go. So you can basically swear. Um, you can also be gross. You can belch and fart. Oh, there you go. Well, that was a belch. Uh, let's see what happens uh, with fart. Ah, so this is actually one of the brand new um, interactions. So it says, I would like to be an adult now. I feel like I'm old enough now that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want and do what I want. Can you treat me like an adult? So we actually only have one uh, one option that says, you will always be my baby. So uh, thanks for the advice. Uh, jo has advised Courtney affecting her character values. So empathy has increased, but her responsibility has decreased. So they are some brand new like pop-ups which have come up randomly. <laughs> So we do have some brand new interactions for teens, like I said. So a lot of the new parenthood things are little icons here. So we can do loads of things. We can boast about messing around. We can give family advice, uh, discuss sad mood, and then into mischief. You can spread rumours about woohoo, flick nose. So let's do one of these and see what happens. And let's be mean as well. As ah, so you can mock sadness. Uh, what else can you do? Convince monsters are real. We can do even more things like that. So if we grab one of our parents, they go. So all of their character values are actually going down. So we can actually grab our parent and let's discipline them strictly. Yell at for being mean. There we go. So we can go and tell them off for doing that. And let's have a look at their character values. So he's actually very angry right now. Let's just have a look. So his character, character values, as you can see, his manners have gone down for all that burping and farting earlier. Um, and as you can see, um, hers have gone up quite a lot. And her responsibility has as well. But her conflict resolution is going down because of what the stuff she just did. So live mode overall, there's so much to show you guys. There's just so, so much. There's so many new interactions. And obviously you unlock more interactions and notice more interactions as you play on. But there's so much variety and so many things each, you know, stage of each sim's life can do. So as you can tell, teens can argue. They can discuss about woohoo and do all stuff like that. Parents can tell them off. They can... Gets, uh, make them learn to do things like good manners at the table, say please and thank you, and just there's so many awesome interactions. All of the brand new objects I really, really do like, especially the um, schooling things. Um, that's really, really nice. And the character value system is really, really good because um, as you go up, as you can see, if you hit this little mark here, then you unlock the brand new traits. So overall, parenthood. I'm loving. I'm really liking it. It is such a good game pack. Like, you would think it's an expansion pack. I think this could have been an expansion pack, uh, but they would have had to add a lot, lot more to be, you know, on that scale. But as a game pack, it's amazing. There's just so many things. And like I said, there's so many things to discover, so many brand new cast and um, build mode items. It's just amazing. Now, the only thing what disappointed me about this was really the lack of stuff for toddlers, which was sort of to be expected because this is kind of focusing on children and older with toddlers, you know, you can't really do much with them really because they already have like teaching options. And um, the only other thing is, as much as I love all the build and buy mode items, there's not as much as I hoped because um, obviously with the Sims 3 generations, you had loads more things like you had bunk beds and stuff like that. Um, obviously we don't have this in this pack, uh, but the stuff we do have, I absolutely love. So I can't really complain, really. So thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments what you think about The Sims 4 Parenthood. It is out tomorrow, so make sure to go and buy it. Um, so also, like I said, I have made a little build video dedicated to Parenthood. If you want to check that out, links down in the description and in the card. So if you click the little I and at the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching once again. Please like, comment and subscribe. If you do subscribe, click the little bell icon. You'll be notified when I do next make a video. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.